Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. Well, in the last episode, we proved that all you need to win as Kane is a little bit of patience and uh, then also the mom's bottle of pills. So, combined with the nun's habit allowed us to get uh, like 17 health upgrades and a number of full health pills when it really counted. Uh, but that run was looking very bad for a long period of time before we actually brought it back from the brink. Now, we're playing as Samson. Apparently, Samson is uh, the random number generator's way of kind of reeling me back in. It's like after a wild success, not to toot my own horn, of course, but after a successful video, it's like, well, we gotta just rein it in here a little bit, cowboy. Uh, I am absolutely gonna trade this bomb for the key and the tinted rock. Oh, that's an interesting value proposition now. Um, I really wanna open this because uh, Samson, you know, the, the faster you get good as Samson, the better and easier your life is gonna be. I mean, that's true for all characters, but Samson in particular, because, you know, every extra damage upgrade you get probably lowers the amount of health you're gonna lose, and you start with a reasonably low amount of health, so I think it's a smart idea to, you know, bump up your damage as much as possible, whenever possible. Kane's Eye will be a, like, a tears upgrade uh, trinket, I think, and we're gonna be fighting, man, we've been fighting a lot of mini-bosses early in the game. Uh, lately, which I'm not going to complain about because effectively, you know, when you fight Wrath early in the game, it does give you a little bit of a head start uh, when it comes to bombs, and he's a very easy enemy to fight, so I don't see any reason why not, or why we shouldn't, but uh, I'll probably save this last remaining key. Already getting one damage upgrade via Blood of the Martyr is pretty solid as uh, Samson. I mean, that's more than you can sometimes get over the course of an entire run as, as a character. Like, it, in the Kane video that I just did, um, I don't think I got a damage upgrade until... I, I, we definitely got Small Rock, and I'm pretty sure we had one other damage upgrade. Maybe Steven's head? But that might have shown up a little bit later as well. Uh, it's Steven, I guess, not Steven's head. Colloquially, maybe Steven's head, but, uh... I don't tell Steven what he does in his own time, that's totally up to him. I... If I can beat Larry Jr. without getting hit here, I'm gonna be a very happy man. Uh, it's something that doesn't happen all that often. I usually take at least a little bit of stupid damage, but with only one LJ left... Okay, that was very close. Um, yeah, that was absolutely possible. I'm gonna save my key. It's the smart decision. Let's be honest with one another. The range upgrade, borderline meaningless, uh, probably, but, uh, we'll move on nonetheless. Did I pick up Guppy, like, did I start this with Guppy's tail or something? I'm gonna have to check, like, the cheat engine to make sure that I haven't accidentally given myself the item that spawns a fuck ton of golden chests, because this is goddamn insane already. Charm of the Vampire, um... Apparently that is the theme for items that we are getting this time. Blank of the Blank, we already got Blood of the Martyr, Charm of the Vampire, Spirit of the Night maybe next, and that's all that I can think of off the top of my head. There's probably more though. Uh, why don't we fight the boss right away? We're already here. First floor bosses tend to be pretty easy, and this may give us a chance to earn a deal with the devil. So, by the way, thank you for everyone uh, who pointed out that, uh, you know, for a while I was I was complaining about, like, I don't understand how deals with the devil work. If you don't have enough hearts, then sometimes it'll make it seemingly impossible for you to ever have red hearts again. Like, it'll make you take the deal with the devil, or let you take the deal with the devil, I should say. Uh, but it won't let you pick up, like, the next HP upgrade that you get. And it turns out, you actually can go in debt on deals with the devil, but you can actually get yourself out eventually. Okay, there is absolutely no way... I can't take Spirit of the Night after saying what's next, Spirit of the Night. So we're going to try that, and uh, I will prioritize this golden chest now in the hopes that it's an HP upgrade. It's actually Steven's head, weirdly enough. Obviously, um, the, the decision that I made was not necessarily in the interest of survival. The decision that I made was in the interest of having a laugh, and uh, that's frightening because now I only have one Spirit Heart. But, of course, Spirit of the Night is an item that is almost always worth the hearts that you're giving uh, in order to pick it up. Except when that takes you, you know, to one spirit heart, and you're gonna have to live on that for as long as possible. So, we're in a very harrowing situation right now, but we have sacrificed... Yeah, sure, we'll keep Kane's eye. Uh, we have sacrificed, possibly, short-term health for long-term gain. You know, it's like we're pulling an all-nighter to get ready for our MCATs or something like that. Like, we are set up if we succeed, if we fail, bad times. Bombs are key. Sure, that's acceptable. Now I should probably go back and pick up the burnt penny, but this is fine. Oh. Now just be a little cautious. There's no, like, secret room possibility here, so I was trying to see if I could kind of work them over to one side of the room. Uh, what I may want to do here, with two bombs, is pick up burnt penny, try to find the secret room, and if there's nine cents in there, that could potentially give me a, a very nice payday with respect to bombs as well. There it is, and... Three cents. All right, turns out that was not worth anything, but you know in your hearts that that was the right decision. In fact, I think, um, 
Burnt Penny might be the better choice anyway. Just to uh, keep me kind of flush with bombs in case we come across Tinted Rocks. Obviously, in our current situation, I really don't want to accidentally miss those. And another key is fine, acceptable for sure. So we'll go down to the next floor. We're in a very scary situation, but we're not dead by any stretch of the imagination. I can't even remember if I've been hit over the course of this run. I think it's exclusively been Tinted Rocks. Or, sorry, not Tinted Rocks. Um, deals with the devil that have caused me to lose my existing HP. So, again, we've got uh, a lot of advantages. Two damage upgrades, two floors into the game, as well as Rage is amazing. Plus, of course, we can fly and shoot Spectral Tears. Uh, there are downsides, and that's that if we get caught in the explosion of a bomb or something like that, we're just going to die instantly. Um, the Shears is an absolutely acceptable spacebar item. Uh, it, it Mostly, we would just be using it for the damage, which is fine. Like That's still pretty uh, valuable in its own right. But uh, obviously, I would be looking to replace this with something that actually allows me to get more spirit hearts in the future. Because if that's the way we're going to build this run, and, and that's the way we kind of have to build this run until we at least see if there's more HP upgrades available at some point. Uh, okay, mom's coin purse, or sorry, mom's purse. Very confusing item names is something that I would be interested in picking up. But uh, ideally, this boss room will contain an HP upgrade of some sort. Or, you know, this tinted rock would contain an HP upgrade. So. The um, Liberty Cap is an item that I consider, or a trinket that I consider pretty solid, but I think Burnt, Burnt Penny is just a little bit smarter from uh, the perspective of making sure that we can open every tinted rock we uh, ever come across. So, this should be a very easy fight. Gertie summons a lot of enemies, it gives me very easy opportunities to build rage. Uh, and we also have like level 5 Meat Boy by way of the shears. So, I'm just gonna take care of these nubs so I don't accidentally take uh, like accidental damage just from them kind of exploding near me and he may or she may summon some more but this is a I'm glad that we're fighting like a vanilla boss for the caves part one so we could possibly snag this HP upgrade please God that is not it but the tarot card is death okay that is actually not very helpful at all it looks like we might be going another floor and it's uh you know roughly at this point I really thought that uh, every turret would die in here by way of that death card I guess you learn something new every day. I learned not to trust anything on this one. Okay, one more hit will be enough then. Good to know. An eternal heart, please, or really any kind of uh, spirit heart. Just keep me alive long enough to snag an HP upgrade at some point and I would feel a whole lot better. Okay, well that's actually very good. That's kind of like picking up four spirit hearts in a weird way. Uh, the Ankh does give us a one-up that responds us basically as blue baby. So with the Polaroid, we will have permanent Polaroid invincibility. Um, but obviously, I would prefer to let this Ankh... First off, ideally, I would never have to use the Ankh on this run, right? We, we would just win uh, and never die. But ideally, I would love to save the Ankh for as late as possible. Probably? I don't know. There's arguments you can make on both sides. I don't really like the idea of opening this up just because we need this key for maybe the next shop or the next item room. And we really need to bank on getting some items. <laughs> Otherwise... Uh, you know, the, the golden chest, it potentially pays out with an HP upgrade, but the odds of it are probably like 1 in 15, 1 in 12. Uh, whereas in a an item room, we could probably get something much more useful with greater odds, probably like 1 in 2, maybe, for getting a useful item on the item room. Um, HP upgrades included, in fact, and we'll see, basically. We're on catacombs, too. This is what I was afraid of. You know, eventually, luck's got to run out, and we're one hit away from being uh, blue baby eyes here. Which is frightening because I really don't want to become Blue Baby because that means all HP upgrades for the rest of the game will merely become Spirit Hearts, which is not the best uh, outcome for me, I would say. So, a single Tinted Rock would go a long way here. Obviously, an HP upgrade would be uh, of staggering benefit. But for now, we just kind of have to, you know, grip tightly and bear it. Okay, that was very close. Uh, these guys, don't let the neutral fly kill you. That's the most important thing. At least maintain your dignity. Okay, neutral fly, you gotta go first. Oh, no, I am an idiot. Okay, so now we're Blue Baby forever. We start with five spirit hearts, which is strange, but Blue Baby Samson, here we go. We can fly. Um, let's just pretend as if we were Blue Baby the entire time. Thank God we picked up the Ankh on that floor. I actually survived a little bit longer than I thought might have been possible uh, with merely, you know, what did we have? One spirit heart for like two floors, one and a half floors. I I'm impressed with myself for that, even though we did eventually die. Uh, it took going to the catacombs, which is a pretty difficult floor to make it happen. 
Now, uh, since I can fly, I have no excuse to take damage on this level. Oh, except getting hit by the other enemy that can fly, but it's another big moment here. We're hoping to, um, you know, beat this boss, and then I guess it doesn't matter what we pick up now, except I would love to get the nail at some point, but... Okay, so this guy's a real dick about things most of the time, but thankfully by way of the... Uh, shears, I should be able to do more damage than one might normally expect a man of my stature to be able to do right now. Uh, because if Shears actually manages to get close to him, yeah, there you go. It's like half of his, uh, not half of his health, obviously, but half of his health total down over, like, three little barrages with the Shears. So that would be, uh, what, like, one-sixth per attack, I guess, or per barrage. But he's going to be harder to hit now because of this little weird diagonal thing he's got going on. That's fine, though. Uh, I have faith in Shears. It really would be better if it just stood in, like, one place. And, of course, now the HP upgrade was just awaiting us. Uh, what do we have in here? Krampus. That's maybe ideal, quite honestly. So we definitely don't want to take damage because, again, we have no way to replenish our spirit hearts. Uh, but meat is uh, not only a spirit heart upgrade, which is pretty soon going to be eroded. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, we also have the damage upgrade by way of meat. I know it says tears upgrade, but everyone tells me it's a damage upgrade, and I am inclined to believe them. Why don't we toss some bombs in here on the Krampus fight as well? Okay. One has taken us a little closer. The problem is, like, I still do rely on rage for a lot of my damage, and obviously on enemies like this, we're not going to be able to get any, which is a little bit disconcerting, but Love of Coal, you know, once we finish this fight, is going to go a long way towards actually uh, improving the amount of damage that we're capable of doing. Please be careful, thank you. And you might be saying, like, you might be feeling a little disheartened by the way that this run is going. I disagree, I don't think you should feel disheartened. We're playing a five Spirit Heart Blue Baby with some items here. Uh, a lot of good items, actually. Uh, normally, if you were Blue Baby and you started out and you took these items, you would probably be dead by now. The Ankh, oh, no question about it, saved our lives, but... Hopefully we'll be able to, you know, take this gift and turn it into something even better, is my ideal course of action, I suppose. Now, we still have uh, a lot of good stuff on this floor as well. Lots of item rooms and shops available uh, for the rest of the game, including on the Catacombs Part 2. So, uh, at this point, Charm of the Vampire has effectively become a useless item, and that's okay. Oftentimes, that's how I consider it anyway, because maybe we'll be using Guppy's Paw or something like that, even if I stuck with my Red Hearts. I really can't afford to be taking damage anymore, but it's so hard to avoid damage reliably on a floor like the catacombs which is so difficult uh, relative to all the floors that have come before it and even some of the floors that come after it like I would much rather have uh, the depths part one over and over than the catacombs again and again uh, but then of course you know the other option there is necropolis which is probably substantially more difficult than both so this is a very important kind of corridor in the game right now we would love to get a book of revelations or a blue candle I would love to get, uh, well, we'll see what we get in the item room first. It is Poison Touch, which is actually quite valuable now that we are Blue Baby and we're going to be rolling uh, entirely on Spirit Hearts. Let's open this up, see if uh, maybe Greed's in here. Okay, it's Blue Candle. So, the Shears, as good as they are, I absolutely would love to uh, replace them with the Blue Candle, which is a substantially better item. That's the Blue Candle, I'm Blue Baby, it just seems to fit, doesn't it? So... With seven bombs, I should be able to find the secret room. Then it's just a matter of the secret room having, you know, a few more cents in it. Although, there's no really convenient looking place for the secret room, which is very annoying. Uh, so I may end up having to use most of my bombs, but it is worth it for Blue Candle, which, uh, especially combined with the ability to fly, is uh, exceptionally useful. So, uh, I think that this might be a viable place for it. Okay. Uh, I think that this might be a viable place for it. I can't leave this floor without getting Blue Candle. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, maybe this? That is not it. Um, or this? Like, I'm checking all of the rooms that border two rooms. So there's more up there by that shop. We can just walk into this one and see. We'll go to the curse room and get nine lives. Okay, which is just hilarious at this point. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, but we did find out that the secret room was not immediately next to it. And we have three bombs left, so let's check this one. Uh, alright. Okay. I'm, I'm getting slightly nervous about this. If I was a secret room, where would I hide? Now, I can't farm the boss over and over. That much is for certain. 
We can farm the boss on the next floor, maybe. Who is this? Okay, so we got two possible rooms here. Let's check this one. Just give me two more cents, please. Blue candle, so useful. Oh my god. Could it be under the shop? Certainly not, right? Can you even bomb your way out of the item room? This is basically uh, bullshit, is the way I'll say it. I'll just use, I just use seven bombs trying to find a secret room on the catacombs part two. It is absolutely possible that this is like a non-secret room floor, but I think it's just hidden somewhere that I don't know. But I can't leave without getting the blue candle. You know what I could do is just sacrifice myself on this a couple of times just to get a treasure chest. So that's like one of my eight lives gone. But now we've respawned with red hearts. That's unusual. Uh, what are our pills here? Pill number one, friends to the end. Pill number two, balls of steel. Okay, well, that was actually like a preferable way to die then. Weirdly enough, I guess we will look for poop and fires that we can shoot. The fact that I can't, couldn't find two more cents with seven bombs on this floor is goddamn staggering. Really, it's just nothing for me here, I guess. Okay, well, uh, blue candle be damned. I guess we'll go down to the next floor. Weirdly enough, I still feel reasonably more confident than I used to because now we are rolling on red hearts again, which is not necessarily always an advantage, uh, but it, it feels better than being at one... Oh, God. Uh, it feels better than being at one spirit heart times nine lives. And we do still have eight lives left, which is a great name for a Binding of Isaac-themed indie band. All right, so I'm going to hang out in the center here. And we should be able to kill these guys much more effectively than if I'm waiting on the wings. I don't feel like this... Oh my god, how did I get hit? It was like a fucking erosion erupted and there was like a crack in the rocks right in front of me. I don't think so. Uh, this is a weird run for sure, which is why I feel kind of out of my comfort zone with respect to... Of course, now there's a ton of money. Which is why I feel out of my comfort zone with respect to the uh, commentary right now, because I don't even know what to say. We're Samson, but then for a while we were also Blue Baby, and then, um, you know, we, we took nine lives. Now we're no longer Blue Baby, and we have eight lives. We've already died once. We died twice, sorry, over the course of this run. But we still, you know, are alive, because that makes sense. We've also picked up a number of damage upgrades, but I don't feel that strong. And uh, borderline zero health upgrades, but I don't feel that weak. So that's the position that we're in right now. What are our chances of success? Uh, I'll hold up my middle finger and then stick out my tongue like Miley Cyrus and be like, fuck if I know, basically. So that bomb simplified things slightly, but I'm still getting hunted by the mask squad over here. Sounds like a Dragon Ball Z fighting force. What about, oh, careful. Too easy. I'm, I'm taking way too much damage. You're never going to hear me say that uh, I'm, I'm being a master at the game right now. I don't hold out a lot of confidence over the course of this run, but at the very least, you know, people complain when I don't take nine lives. I figured, why don't we take nine lives and I'll see if maybe there's something I'm missing. What people always seem to want me to do is uh, farm bosses, and I believe that the way that you do that is... And this might be simplistic, I might be missing something, but the way that you do that is you kill the boss, take the item, but don't leave the room, and then blow yourself up with a bomb, and then fight the boss again. The problem, of course, with that, from this standpoint, is that if I get HP upgrades, I'm just going to have to kill myself, but... And with the nine lives, I don't respawn with those HP upgrades, so... I think, anyway. It's, again, it's been so long, I don't even know if that's how the mechanics work anymore. Oh my god, this golden poop is literally gonna take, like, a hundred shots to kill. If I can even kill it. I mean, I've hit it once, clearly, right? Oh my god, I can't do this. I can't, I can't do it! I refuse to do it. If I walk out of the room, though, it won't be here when I... I can just use a bomb. Oh, uh, no need, apparently. All right, I'm glad we went through with it, because I got three bombs out of it, as well as, you know, some money that may or may not be useful. Rainbow Baby uh, shows up all the time, and Rainbow Baby seems to show up in all these situations where I'm like, well, I don't really want it, but sure, we'll take it. Item rooms have been okay so far. It's the shops that have been the real killer. The fact that I was not able to take blue candle actually is something that could have a monumental impact on the, the game. Like, if I had blue candle in this situation, this room would already be over. Instead, I have the shears without any uh, modifiers, which means that I don't, I don't really feel comfortable, um, you know, using it on anything but basically the boss room or a room that I'm going to get hit on regardless. So, but the, 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 the shears is still a good item, it's just not the best item, which is basically what I would consider blue candle to be. Not the best item, but it's certainly maybe the best space bar item in my opinion. And we haven't really picked up much in the way of, like, there haven't been any Tinted Rocks over the course of this entire run, apparently. But, we will fight our boss, and we have enough money to go to the shop on this floor. Almost certainly, we will be fighting, uh, Greed. 
on our shop because we've been to a couple shops and we haven't bought anything. I expect that he will be there. Not that I don't think not buying anything has any effect on whether or not greed shows up, but going to shops and having money I think does. Pageant boy. Okay, so this is basically like money plus bombs, and we picked up four bombs, which is kind of okay, but. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use these effectively. And you're probably saying, well, with nine lives, why didn't you just, like, blow yourself up some more? Well, eh, you know, again, I don't wanna... I guess I only have one HP upgrade, so I might as well have gone through with it. Uh, who... what was... what were we just fighting in there? It was Loki, it was easy. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that would... it's one way of re-rolling, sort of. And if I'm gonna die anyway, I might as well have gotten a second item out of it. Uh, as you can see. I don't foresee this run going very well. That's probably quite obvious at this point. I'm also getting weird slowdown, which is unusual, considering I just rebooted my computer like earlier today, and this uh, the Isaac mod usually runs better than the actual game itself. Okay, uh, it's gonna be an uphill battle to make sure I don't take damage here. Yep, that was uh, extraordinarily close, but here we are. There's one phase done. And hopefully I can kill one of these guys with my rage. I hope rage sticks around, I, I think it does. I can just check my items, but I'm far too lazy to do that. Uh, we probably do not want to go into our curse room. Instead, I will come up here to the shop and we'll hope that, you know, Blue Candle, Compass Map, Book of Revelations. I would rather take Book of Revelations than the Shears at this point, even though I think the Shears is probably most of the time a better item. Book of Revelations would give us a chance at success, though, which is more valuable than just being able to do damage. But of course, yes, we, we knew it had to happen, uh, so I don't feel too salty about it. We're fighting greed. That was almost me getting hit by my own bomb. Luckily, you know, when you fight greed, you can be pretty sure, especially when you have, um, oh my god, the burnt penny, that you're gonna get more bombs over the course of the fight. I'm probably gonna lose another life here. And this is Necropolis, which is, so it's not unexpected that I'll get hit a couple of times, but still, disappointing nonetheless. I would love to kill greed and maybe pick up so, something of value, uh, but it's not looking crazy strong right now. Oh, no more bombs there. Okay, you can just stay in the same area, Greed. There we go, that's perfect. This one, on the other hand, is actually perfect. I was faking you out. There we go, we picked up the quarter. Fantastic, 61 cents, so we'll make sure to get good use out of that. It, now, it's funny to me, because on the last floor, we tapped out at what? 13? We just couldn't get two more cents? And on this floor, we somehow picked up 49 of them. 49 cents. Uh, so, I guess we will come down here and check out our secret room possibilities. I was going to say, watch me find it on like the first attempt here. Uh, there could also be a secret room here. We might as well go to the curse room. Be yeah, this is a much easier secret room to find. Dad's key. No thank you. Uh, because we can fly, uh, I can absolutely go into this room and not die, assuming I don't get hit on the way in by one of those asshole blue spikes. And... a single spirit heart. Which is actually, you know, it's health, which is necessary, but uh, certainly, I think we're setting ourselves up to die probably seven times at the mom fight or soon after. But, you know, it's, it's the kind of thing where you're like, well, Northern Line, you shouldn't have been so aggressive earlier in the game because, you know, you, you traded away all your hearts and then you found yourself in a rough situation. That's true, but also, like, if HP upgrades don't show up, it doesn't really matter whether I have, you know, one HP upgrade or zero HP upgrades. Like, that sinks me for pretty much the entire run. So, I would almost rather have the items that I have and have a chance to maybe take it a little further. There's an HP upgrade. Uh, because of the, like, aggressive items that I've taken, then just kind of, like, slowly whittle away and die in the interest of, you know, being conservative with my health. Uh, so, I mean, that's the exact opposite philosophy that I take in real life. But in Isaac, I think it's best to maybe be aggressive and then maybe you'll get some kind of amazing uh, boon later that can really help you out. But, uh, as of course, by the way, I continue to fight bosses that, like, exclusively charge me faster than Shears can actually move. And this guy will jump, uh, I'm sure, whenever Shears touches him. Uh, but... We're still not dead yet. That extra HP upgrade is very important. Of course, once you start snagging HP upgrades, you really do not want... Alright, you didn't get anything there. Uh, you really do not want uh, to die and use your nine lives. You just want to keep that as like a contingency. So we have two bombs here. I think one of them is bombs or key. One of them is bad gas. So we'll just use that because I don't care about it. The other one is bombs or key. Uh, and I, I don't really want to use this. Uh, I think I have a very comf comforting amount of... Um, both bombs and keys at this point. And I don't 
necessarily think that trading one value for the other solves me uh, any problems here. So we'll just stand. Oh, I got hit there, which is bad. But two more keys. Fair trade, right? Near death for the ability to open two doors. And bombs are key is now slightly more viable. I really need these bombs for the mom fight is what I'm getting at. And this is like the first tinted rock we found in six floors. And I was gonna, I would swear to God, before I died, of course, um, so there goes our HP upgrade. Uh, but before I um, opened that tinted rock, I was gonna say watch it just be a golden chest. Or like watch it be uh, like a key or something like that. Because I really need the spirit hearts to keep me alive a little bit longer, but no such luck. So, in here we get the Ace of Spades, and in here we get an HP upgrade. So, turns out I probably should have opened the middle uh, first. Oh well. We'll stick with Burnt Penny, because, you know, I, I'm afraid of the unknown. Teleport, that's a waste. I'm not even going to rotate it out of the rotation. Uh, the odds of it showing up again are pretty low, because I'm probably not going to live long enough to see uh, the chest. So, we're down to six lives now. We've already died like four times over the course of this run. This is one where it's just like unsalvageable, I think. Man, Samson is an annoying character to play as. I can't believe I used to think he was so good. Like, way, way back in the day, but still. That's embarrassing for me. Now. Whoa. Okay, that was some seriously awful damage to take there. And I almost wonder, like, it's been so long since we got uh, HP upgrades reliably. Actually, on this run, I should point out that HP upgrades have been showing up pretty frequently. It's just, like, the unfortunate timing of them has not been very good. Um... But apart from that, there's been so many runs, like five of the six last runs, uh, have basically had no or very, very minimal HP upgrades compared to what I would consider to be the norm. Uh, the cane upgrade, I got a lot of HP upgrades, but they all came in the form of pills, like you can see right there, um, which didn't show up until like the late game either. So, I mean, I'm not necessarily saying something's up with uh, the mod that I'm using or anything like that that puts my face in the game. I am just saying, you know, this is a weird kind of spell of... Uh, of Isaac play, and I am probably gonna die again here. I have Charm of the Vampire. Please just like let me get one. It's like a nuclear throne. Just give me some bloodlust. I need one health to be able to build the basis of my entire run off of. Oh my god. Okay, we didn't get killed by the flies, amazingly. And in our shop, we have a ladder. We have a ladder in the shop. I can already fly. Um, maybe I'll pick up that ladder. It's just nice in case you wanna, you know, clear out the eaves trough sometime. With 65 cents, it seems pretty stupid to not at least try to go to the arcade. Is Child's Heart good? Will this help us get more payout from slot machines? I don't think so. Uh, but we'll, we'll try it regardless, because here we are. And maybe I can earn a, a... Oh my god, I got hit again. Maybe I can earn a couple more HP upgrades um, by way of the blood bank in here. Although, I would be very surprised. Uh, that cost me half a spirit heart, because I'm a dummy. So, let's not die. We desperately need the red hearts now. That is not going to do it. That is money. I should probably be using Burnt Penny here, but I really thought Child's Heart maybe would increase the amount of red heart drops I would get from here. Oh, pretty fly. That's a pretty solid pickup, actually. And fly love. Uh, I think we're actually just going to, like, we'll play this till we get down to 60 cents, and then we'll blow it up, because I can't afford to sit in here for the next 45 minutes making this work. Second pretty fly is actually totally awesome, so... Thank you very much for that. And for that, and this will be the last one here. So, before we play the Blood Bank, we will blow this up just to see if we get anything useful. And then it's like, do I really want to play this three times? And the answer is yes, I do. Usually you get uh, red hearts for blowing up Blood Bank, so we might as well go for the go for broke here. And then we'll blow up this one. Probably should have blown up the one outside. Oh, we did not get red hearts for that. That's bad. Uh, don't walk into that by accident. That would be even worse. And we got a spirit heart. Okay, that's something. Again, probably should have picked up Burnt Penny for that. We should probably take Child's Heart with us. I mean, like, we're one room away from the boss anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That was just a... I was assuming we were, we were one room away from the boss. Surprisingly difficult sentence to say sometimes. One room. Assuming we were one room. I don't know. The, the O sound from one and then the W sound from we were uh, is a little little tricky to parse. Okay, pretty easy. Let's just beat Mom without getting hit. Ah, that's not fair. We can get hit twice. And then never get hit again for the rest of the game. <laughs> but, it's a theoretical... It's not even that unlikely that we'll survive this Mom fight. Uh, Shears does a lot of damage. There is a Tinted Rock down in the bottom, which I can try to get. 
Um, and we just got Bloodlust, which actually does help us out. I'm calling it Bloodlust from now on, apparently. Oh, but then I took some damage. Okay, get the foot down here. Thank you, and one Spirit Heart. Not the greatest payout, but I'll take it. Uh, and then I lost it again. Okay, we can still get hit a couple of times. Poison Touch did some dirty work there. This has not been my best play or my best luck, and that always makes for a very difficult Isaac run. Okay, still chilling. And in fact, we are back to uh, one and a half Spirit Hearts. Or sorry, one and a half Red Hearts. I'm so used to rolling on Spirit Hearts at this point that I uh, get the nomenclature confused now and then. Oh, okay. Back down to one. Mom's heart is very nearly dead, though. Fantastic. We snag a Tears upgrade and another Spirit Heart, like the game is just taunting me. And a Polaroid. So, we don't have very much hope at all, but we do have three HP upgrades, which is more than I expected. I suppose we could have had five by now. Oh, no, I'm trapped in hell. I hate this room. And it's such high stakes. I really feel like nine lives... There's probably ways to make it work. Well, that, that's not even true. I know there's ways to make it work. There's no probably necessary. Uh, but for, like, the average player, this item is so imbalanced. Like, assuming myself is roughly average, or at least closer to average than people who know how to abuse the shit out of this item. Um, um, what are you thinking, you dummy? I thought maybe there would be a tinted rock there, but I forgot that we were going to, like, blow it up and then get, like, an awful, um, sure, a second Polaroid, an awful period of, uh, kind of static... Standing still. Okay, now we're dead. This is what I mean when I say the stakes are so high with nine lives. Every time you die, oh, no pressure. You just lose all of the HP upgrades you've gotten uh, since you picked up the item. Which I think is, like, goddamn horrible. It makes it so nine lives is, like, it, it's an interesting item to pick up. I don't know how I dodged that. Sometimes that just happens. Uh, it's an interesting item to pick up, but it's also god-awful in my opinion. Like, I, I think it's really, really bad. Boss farming might make it better, but I, I've never really put a priority on learning how to do that, which I guess is my bad. In hindsight, definitely should not have picked up this item over the course of this run. Now, we do have Fly Love, so these guys should be a little easier to kill. At this point, it's just Northern Lions, you know, let's talk and chat, basically, because our odds of success are so infinitesimal that I really do not anticipate uh, pulling a success out of the bag here. But, you know, it was uh, similar to this on that Kane run recently. Oh, that coffee's still too hot. I'm like taking a big gulp of coffee too. Just burns the inside of your mouth so you can't taste anything else ever again. Well, not ever again. That's a little over dramatic. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that cane run that we did last time was one of my favorites. It was like a very frustrating run to play at the time. But, you know, going back and thinking about it, it's like, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It, it was messed up and I probably should not have had any chance of winning, so pulling it out was very nice. But uh, don't take that out of context, by the way. Northern Lion said pulling it out is very nice. Uh -huh. I don't know why I gave you sophisticated rich guy douchebag laugh. I should give you the French guy laugh that I use from speedrunners. Uh, you can't give your laughs to people. Don't try it. It's not going to solve any problems for you. Uh, do we really need like a, every floor to have a bad gas pill on it? Like I, I never use them effectively anyway. Well, I mean, I, I have in the past, but... Uh, Let's, I was going to say, let's take inventory on this run before we die. We have Rage. We have two or three damage upgrades. We have uh, the ability to fly. And then we have three lives uh, with borderline zero health. Now, I, that didn't hit anybody. That is surprising. Now, I should be able to use my bombs effectively. Two bombs to clear out that room. Seems like a better trade than using literally two lives. But we are not long for this world. I'm still, like, I'm not throwing to play speedrunners at any point uh, in this run. To put it in NLSS nomenclature. But I am, I'm trying my damnedest to dodge. It's just, like, it's getting real tricky. Especially because uh, a lot of the enemies that I am fighting can also fly. Now, this is also a big floor. Things that we do not have. That was awful. Things that we do not have that I normally consider uh, more or less necessary... I can't believe I got out of the way of that. That should prove that I'm at least trying to dodge. Um, items that I, I normally would want to have by this point in the game to have a chance. Mix and match, you know, pick and mix, take whatever you want. Uh, but some of these are usually necessary. Incredibly high damage item. Mom's knife, polyphemus, sometimes quad shot, or just a variety of damage upgrades or incredible rate of fire or something like that. We don't have it. Um, what is this? Nothing of value. Lots of HP. We don't have it. Less HP, but spirit hearts, so permanent Polaroid invincibility works. We don't have it. Uh, the ability to fly. Yes, we have it. 
what what else? Uh, map and compass. We don't have it. Uh, map or compass. We don't have it. In fact, uh, anything to make our space bar item charge better. We don't have it. A good space bar item. Debatable, but in this situation, you know, not so great. Uh, so we're in a very very difficult position here. We do have two HP upgrades here, and if I had just not taken nine lives and somehow managed to live, uh, we would have like seven HP by this point, which probably would have made this run substantially more doable, but instead it's, it's felt like a losing battle for quite some time. This is uh, not an HP upgrade, which means that our death is probably fast approaching. We may, much to my surprise, uh, end up surviving this floor, although if I get hit, oh, we might as well get some extra HP back here. If I get hit uh, two more times, that's the end of this uh, Northern Lion story. But I have survived a little bit longer than I thought would be uh, possible. I haven't necessarily survived it because I've been playing very skillfully. I've mostly survived it just because over the course of this entire run, I have taken like 10 lives. We are totally going to survive this floor. That is stupid and hilarious. Uh, and we pick up the coin purse. All right, here's the moment of truth. Friends till the end. Beautiful. That'll uh, kill Blue Baby for me. Health upgrade. Can't wait to lose that eventually. Although we are in our last life anyway. I was really hoping we get like a too, uh, too hard deal for Mom's knife there. The other thing that could have saved this run, and you're going to think I'm a, a broken record here, but I'm serious when I say uh, that Blue Candle may have put us in a substantially more likely position to win. It's so much better than the Shears. Not to say that the Shears is bad, uh, but it's so much better. Uh, every single room we would have had a much lower chance of taking damage. So, let's try to avoid taking... Two hits. If we get hit once, we'll get a brief period of invincibility. We do have, um, you know, Charm of the Vampire, a.k.a. Bloodlust, which gives me a chance at survival here. Now, I know I said this on the last episode. I'm not just trying to build a moment here, but if we do somehow, in the fucking unlikeliest of scenarios, end up building a winning run out of what we have right now, that would be probably the most unlikely victory we've ever had, and I mean that sincerely. The Kane run, very unlikely. This would be goddamn almost unfathomable. Uh, at this point. And we've had some kind of un surprising triumphs lately. But, like, I'm looking at this and I'm like, even if I magically manage to not take damage all the way to Isaac, how the fuck am I going to beat Isaac without getting hit three times? Maybe even twice. It's not going to be possible, right? Like, I'm going to have to be the greatest dodger of shots of all time. I might not even be able to use shears be because, uh, you know, shears is going to cause Isaac to shoot so much that it's going to make dodging nearly impossible. Uh, even though it would be a nice little damage boost. So, I, I don't know. I'm gonna hold out hope that maybe in some alternate universe, somebody up there likes me and will be able to make this happen. But, um, let's just first be happy that we beat Mom's Heart, if we're going to beat Mom's Heart, which looks reasonably likely, I would say. We do have a, a staggering number of bombs. I, yes, definitely can't afford to take damage like that, so I'm glad I didn't. And we should- oh, no! Okay, Meat Boy almost got me fucking ganked there. One more hit will kill us. Just beat Mom's heart. That's that's a success in my eyes. Don't push the bomb away, you dinglehorn. That's a very important part of this whole operation here is the explosive efforts of yours truly. Okay. Yes. Okay. He didn't push it away for once. We really need either blood... Ah, oh, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. We, basically, we needed uh, to get one extra half heart. Otherwise, we were going to find ourselves in a very tough spot moving forwards. Okay. Permanent bombs. We are totally going to beat Mom's heart, which is a success in and of itself. Uh, but Jesus Christ, could this run be any more grindy right now? Grindy not in the RPG sense. Grindy more in the sense that like I'm grinding my teeth trying to finish it off here in a positive way. And the frame rate's getting wonky again. Yeah, sometimes this happens when I get messages on Skype. I should really just learn to sign out uh, when that's happening. But uh, I, I think mostly it's just that the game is incredibly unoptimized. Ooh, 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 okay. All right. Probably the best dodging that I've ever done on these guys, and we still haven't killed anybody. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now I took some damage at the end. Please tell me they explode before they come down here again. Oh, my God. Are you fucking kidding me? How many shots do these guys take without dying? More than me, quite frankly. Now, is this the way to the exit? I'm going to assume not. Death card. We're going to use that probably on the next room. <laughs> Just to simplify things. Hey, you know, getting a, a free room is actually a pretty sizable trade-off in this game at this point. I'm okay with that. That could save us, like, a couple of spirit hearts. And I'm using, like, bombs on every single room, apparently. 
because that just seems like the, the smart way to do things. I, I could have just walked out of here, I guess, earlier, but I want to see if maybe they drop uh, Mom's Knife or something like that. I guess that's my my out, is if they drop Mom's Knife. One Spirit Heart is actually kind of okay. You feel like a little uptick in my voice? I'm going to sacrifice the Spirit Heart to go in here just in case there's Guppy's Tail. Oh, I was really hoping that there would be Guppy's Head or Guppy's Paw in the other one. Uh, and then maybe, maybe we would have had a chance, but you, do you hear like a slight up uptick of positivity in my voice? Don't let that fool you. Yes, I'm getting a little bit more positive about this run, even though the odds of it are still very, very small, uh, succeeding that is. Uh, but I can't let the game know, so keep it on the down low, because uh, the Binding of Isaac's Troll Engine uh, specializes in crushing dreams, so... I can't let it know that I believe, because, you know, it, it pushed the, all the hope out of me. And then I think it was like, oh, come on, it's not fun when you're not even trying anymore. And now that, you know, it's opened up a seam and it's letting me back into the game, and I'm like, you know, starting to get a little bit more hopeful about things, and I believe that there is good in the world, and that people are inherently not evil, and people try to do the right thing. Um, and then it's going to crush all my hopes and dreams and, and take that away from me in, uh, you know, very dramatic fashion, I'm sure. I can't believe... Well, I can actually totally believe I got hit here. I've got probably Monstro 2 in, like, the most awkward Monstro 2 fight I've ever had. Uh, but it is going pretty well so far. Only getting hit once is fine. I wish I could kill him. There we go. And I also wish that he would drop, like, a half heart, but no such luck. And I'm not... Okay, well, now we maybe have to use the shears. Is greed going to end this run? If so, it would be fitting, because it's my own greed that led to me not really having that much in the way of HP. And, uh, that... I was very convinced that that was going to do it, but yet we still live as an abomination. In any case, good lord, that was a taxing run. Uh, I tried, and then it took all the hope that I had and it shoved it in the toilet. And then the toilet got clogged and I had to call a plumber and then it was really embarrassing but in any case i hope you enjoyed the run uh, if you did make sure to click the like button it does help me out a great deal and it supports the video and of course if you want to see more daily isaac make sure to subscribe to the channel as always thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the episode i'll see you next time